Shriekers, by the Devil's Interval. Miss Rivera, let's go over what happened yesterday one more time. I was home, taking care of my infant son, when I sensed movement out of the corner of my eye. I noticed someone outside of the window behind the couch, looking in. It was a creature, something that came from either a nightmare or the depths of hell. It was using its hands to block out the sun, pressing them against the glass and looking through them. Its skin was scaly and gray. The eyes were cloudy white. It had several antennae around its head, like spider legs. It ran when it saw me. Katie Rivera took a drink of water from the plastic cup. She'd finally stopped shaking. She'd had some much needed sleep. She was okay now. About 20 minutes later, more of these things showed up. They were at different doors and windows, banging and shrieking these horrible screams. It was terrifying. The house was locked up. I started covering the windows with anything I could find to not have to see them anymore, but I could still hear them screeching. She shifted in her chair, trying to get through the hazy memories. They were coming to get me, coming to get my son. I became convinced that they were going to eat us. Glass started shattering. The shrieking got louder. They were getting inside. I put my son into the teleporter and got him out of there. He should be safe. Then what happened, Katie? The officer asked. I... I don't remember, she said staring into the mirror. Miss Rivera, did you know that you have schizophrenia? Officer Sam Thornton asked. The woman did not answer. Your neighbor called us. She was concerned about you. She informed us that you might not be taking your medications. She thought your behavior was odd the last few days. You and your child's safety were in danger, so we came to check on you. When we arrived, you wouldn't open the door, or acknowledge anyone. That was us breaking into your house. And I hate to have to tell you this, but you didn't put your son in a teleporter. You put him in the microwave. Man, how much further is it? We've been traveling for like 50 days, man. And f we're following a star that doesn't even make sense. Well, look, there it is. Yeah, I, I see it, but I mean, how is that pointing us anywhere? It's way up in the sky. We must visit the one true king and deliver these gifts. And then we can go home. Well, look, that barn over there is lit up. Couldn't hurt to ride by. Okay, Jesus, that's enough milk. <clears throat> Mommy's empty. And I'm still hungry, man. Well, I'm sure you'll wake me up in the middle of the night. And you can have some more then. Fine. I'm expecting some friends anyway. Man, get this goat away from me. He's always putting his ass in my face. It's like he's trying to drape his huge balls over the manger. I mean, what's up with that? Look at those things. They're here. Come on in. Hello, my king. What up? It is an honor to be in your presence. Speaking of presents, let's have them. Here you are, my lord. Here we go. All right, gold, hell yeah. Thanks, dude. Whoa, 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 what's this? Frankincense and myrrh? What kind of bullshit gifts are these? 
I mean, you might as well get me a pair of socks. Jesus? Yes, Joseph? Watch the language. Oh, shut up. You're not my dad. Hey, get this. Check my guy out over here. My mom gets pregnant with me and tells him a ghost did it. And he believes her. I mean, can you imagine? What do you think about that, wise man? Well, we prefer not to say or be involved. Probably because you have half a brain. No, honey, I wasn't fooling around behind your back. I was magically impregnated by a ghost or spirit. <laughs> I mean, this guy might be the biggest simp in history. All right, Jesus, that's enough. Hey, you better show me a little respect. What are you going to do about it? I'm part supreme being. Hey, I'll throw your little ass down the well right now. Well, I can walk on water. Okay, uh, you guys ready? I think it's time for us to be going now. Goodbye, my lord. I dare you to try it. All right, now, you're asking for it. Then try, d d then do something. Boys, boys, let's stop you know, fighting. You, you really crossed a line, embarrassing me like that in front of those people. You don't talk like that about me. Guys, guys, okay, guys. Okay, it's over now. Yo, it's my mark. Barks, Miss Hirsch.